What's up my little poop champs? Yes, that is your official name now. As already teased last video, we will be using my top dislike perks that I totally don't have a random vendetta against. These include small games, slippery meat, calm spirit, and lightweight. We will attempt to get as much value as possible, even though I highly doubt that's ever going to happen since they are quite literally everything but valuable to the team or me. Oh yeah, I also made a Discord server for the silliest of y'all in case you're interested in asking questions, giving suggestions, or being a goofy goober. Feel free to join. Having yapped long enough, let's get suffering, shall we? Gobbling down some painkillers and coke, Entity sends us very skinny legend lead to bad ham. Not bad for me, but bad for the killer. At this point, I take anything over indoor maps. <laughs> As the most efficient survivors of all time, Ada and I joined together to become the best and most supreme M1 holder unit ever. She found me crying, she crew, we both crowed. So emotional. Done with being a bit too efficient, we make our way downtown to save our stinky little friend on hook who thankfully didn't go next. When I catch a goobish that instantly off themselves when nothing even happened, count your days. Coming to notice that a certain someone has not left the perimeter, I channeled my teammates with my last brain cell over here to come and help. Fully expecting to trade hooks, best girl Ada came and clutched body blocking the stink demon and making him whiff at the glorp mobile. Yeah, yeah, I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Back to getting our cheeks saved, it's time to run around main building, splitting the scoon session up. Hugging the wall like my plushie every night, we reach a pallet and actually start chase. <laughs> Mr. Doctor shocking me almost every single second here gives him no bloodlust and actually slows him down quite a bit. Taking in consideration that he's not doing a great job at actually hitting me after the shock, we just get to run this pallet forever. I guess. <laughs> Who knows, maybe he's confused that Sable didn't scream, so he might have thought the shock just didn't hit. Calm spirit value? <laughs> at this point in time, I am just as confused as you probably are, especially after eating another static blast. Mm, very good. Following the consumption of millions of electrically charged oh. atoms flying through the air, it's time to continue fake throwing the pallet to make him respect me and my being. Testing the waters with I don't even know what the hell that was, he gets hit with a premium bonk. Definitely not staying at this pallet, we start running to a different loop which he randomly swings at. Shocking Ada with our presence that we totally didn't get distracted by and ran into a pile of bricks, Pookie Wookie takes another hit for me. Blah, blah, blah. Continuing the shock treatment, I thought Chase was over and done for, but that didn't account for the big whiff. <laughs> He totally didn't get mocked by my 20 ping here, by the way. Acting like Stink Max, it didn't miss its time to carry on with my pre-lobotomy treatment of shocking me 200 times. My brain being already liquid smooth, I dropped the pallet right before the actual shock hits me. Speed running death by actually vaulting and not faking it was imminent, but yet saved again by ping. Yes, this doctor's internet was a paid actor. Almost not being able to believe what just happened, we frolic off to another pallet that was definitely not safer than the current one, which results in me pre-dropping it like a dumbass because I apparently stopped running for some reason. <laughs> Overcoming the heartbreak of dropping this immaculate piece of wood, we connected to Shack window and vacuum the vault, making this a crazy setup. Being unsure if my brain lagged and my eyes played tricks on me, we meet girl Ada and declares lobotomist in the middle of Shack, forcing another hit yet again. Thank you, bestie. Back at whatever the situation is, we try to make eye contact with the silly stinkers so we don't repeat our mistakes from Shaq. Eh? Vaulting the window again, we wait at our looky looky checkpoint until we see the green ore with flies. Okay, that was a bit mean. I'm sorry. Skedaddling back to the pallet, we make certain to not get caught off guard by any shenanigans. We vault another time just to be on the safe side. Having to rely on my ears here, I did in fact not expect him to vault. Goober not shocking me was indeed a mistake since I am now capable of vaulting the pallet again. Making sure to lock in eye contact, I faked the pallet in hopes of him falling for it. Thankfully, that worked in my favor. Goober being really eager of me jumping into his arms, he plays himself. Good for him, I guess. Luckily, Shack window reopened, making it possible for another vault. Not being sure if that was the right choice, we barely make it back to safety. Too shocked to actually understand how good this person's ping is, Chase continues without shock since we've discovered bloodlust. Him really not hugging the loops tightly gives me a lot of distance to vault his pallet three whole more times. Attempting very hard to stay focused, I'm doing this just as successful as me trying not to swear, resulting in me being downed. Who would have seen this coming? But can we get any slippery meat value without offing ourselves? The answer is no. Thankfully, not being tunneled off hook, we snap out of tier 3 and notice that the last gen is almost done too. 
You know what that means? No. Getting use of small game because it's plaything, am I right? Bazinga. Spoiler alert, we will never get rid of plaything ever. Giving up after looking for a single totem, I moonwalk my way to the gate since we see the generator being around 95%. Witnessing that we've been struck by the almighty know-it, I checked the doll totem from earlier that was in fact not it, but became Ada's plaything. Skedaddling around for a hot minute looking for the stinky totem, we finally catch a glimpse on the aura of the culprit. Look at this silly Zarina being my guardian. Isn't she cute? Huh? Noet being gone and us now being full health time has come to save the bestest of best girls, Ada. Bum rushing the hook and being shocked, Stink Demon's mayor attempts at stopping us from saving failed miserably since he got mocked by my internet again. <laughs> Taking the speed boost from the hit we gladly took secures us an easy escape from this goofy match of being a silly little goober. Experiencing probably the least amount of value I have ever gotten from a build ever, it's safe to say that the only thing I really enjoyed was not needing to tab out to stop hook screams. At this point, I'm just relieved to never touch these perks again unless you pay me the right amount, of course. I joke. I joke. Or am I? Anyways, thank you so so much for watching. I totally didn't cry making this video. Stay hydrated, stay slay, have a good day. Mouse down to the left and put it in with extra footy uh Read up Oka If you forget my skill for the chicken last minute uh Mercy or Raw Ride or Jamas to the most I don't get just uh Super Trash Confine We need to quarter half time